In this video, I'm going to show you and teach you a game that you can play with your dog in order to improve your dog's walk. All that and more coming up. Hello dog lover, in this video I'm going to show you a simple game that you can play with your dog where it's going to help you to improve the walk. I always suggest in order to improve your dog's walk to prepare and practice everything that you need to do at home or in an environment that is calmer and more suitable to teach the dog and expect the dog to learn rather than on the walk or at the park or wherever it is that your dog is misbehaving and is pulling you on leash. So practice these games at home before you get into the park or on the street or wherever you go for a walk and then expect your dog to give you the behavior that you want. By playing simple games, you can improve your dog's walk. And the game that we're going to play today is very simple. All you're going to need is few um, plywoods, few woods, uh, rope, anything that you can create some boundaries for your dog. You're going to need also your dog's leash and a collar as well. Uh, you're going to start with playing this game using the leash first and then as your dog gets better and progresses then you can start doing off leash. Today I have Sky with me and she's going to show us and help me to demo this game uh, with you. So all you're going to do first is you're going to put your dog on leash and start in this game. So what you're going to do is you're going to put the ropes or the plywood, I have a 2x4s here, um, in, in line. So the purpose of the game is to lead the dog to walk in between them. This is the easy step, this is part one, so it's not that hard. So you're going to start with the basics and then you're going to start making it harder and harder for your dog. And we're going to make it a little bit more challenging as well. So start with this and get going with your dog. So games like this, in general, when you're playing games or when you're training your dog, I don't suggest you to involve any form of treats or food. All you want to do is engage with your dog, have a good time, play with your dog. And this is a very interesting, very beneficial game for you and your dog. This is also a game that is very uh, stimulating mentally and physically. It's very simple games, simple games for dogs can make it very beneficial. It doesn't have to be too complicating or too fancy-mancy. Simple games like this can not only stimulate your dog mentally and physically, can improve their lives as well. So, Sky, so you're just going to lead your dog to walk between them. That's all. That's you're gonna, all you're going to do. Sky, this way. So you're going to start by letting your dog to go between them. So once you practice this and your dog gets better and better, then you can narrow it, make it narrower, and then ask your dog to walk between them. Sky, this way. Sky, walk. There we go. The idea here is if we can control and manage our dogs and give directions to do simple things like this and play simple games like this, how are we supposed to control our dogs at the parks where there's more distractions? So as you can see, I'm making it a little bit more difficult for my dog. So Sky, walk. So you see now she's having a hard time. Don't worry, just guide. There you go. Good girl. Yes. Yes. Good girl. Yeah. Yes. And try it again. Sky walk. I know it sounds like Skywalk from <laughs> uh, Star Wars, but it's basically Sky and telling her to walk. Guide her. There we go. Yes. Very good. You don't have to, again, use treats or anything like that. If it's hard, just guide and control and manage. Good girl. 
and just practice it a few times until it gets better. You know, the first few times is going to be the hardest part. And this is a game that I, I use when we are doing um, walk, leash walking classes, a uh, workshop that I do, I, we play this game. And most dogs, most dogs and dog owners have a hard time playing this game because they see that their dog is not doing it, so they give up. So don't give up, control, manage, get involved with your dog, encourage your dog to go through this. If we can't control this, how can we control outdoor environment? So try it until your dog gets really good at it. So Sky, so I'm gonna try one more time with the leash. There we go, good girl, yes, yes. Now, if you feel that your dog is getting the point, you can try off leash. Sky, come here, good girl, yes, come on, come on. Yes, good girl, yeah, yes, and try it again. Sky here, come on, Sky, there we go, yes, good girl. See, in the beginning it was challenging, and then she got better at it. So practice this, make it as hard as you can, and challenge your dog. These games, games like this, simple games like this, can improve your dog's behavior and the walk. And if you want to learn how to train your dog using play and praise reward system games like this, I invite you to join my online dog training course where we use play and praise to reward our dogs and train our dogs. I'm gonna have all the information in the description below. And if you have any questions, leave those questions in the comments area. And until next time, have fun with your dog.